Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The changes to the visual interface that were implemented in PowerPoint 2007 have also affected the use of keyboard shortcuts within the application. While many things have changed, many other things have stayed the same in order to assist users to the migration to PowerPoint from versions prior to 2007. First off, you should be aware that all of the control key keyboard shortcuts remain intact. So for example, you can still enter shortcuts like control S to quickly save changes as you type. The major change has occurred in using the Alt key keyboard shortcuts. Once again, for upgrading users, it may be reassuring to note that you can still use any of the Alt keyboard shortcuts from PowerPoint 2013. However, there is no longer any visual way to remember what they were due to the removal of the menu bar. So if you use the old Alt keyboard shortcuts, then you must enter them strictly from memory. If you are new to PowerPoint, then you may be wondering what a keyboard shortcut is. A keyboard shortcut simply allows you to press a combination of keyboard characters in order to execute a command function instead of clicking a button in the ribbon or in the quick access toolbar. While you may never really use them, many users who type significant amounts of text find it tiresome to always have to reach for their mouse. These users may favor the use of keyboard shortcuts instead, as it allows them to perform many command functions while keeping their hands on the keyboard. Keyboard shortcuts typically involve holding down either the Control or Alt key on the keyboard, and then entering another keystroke or set of keystrokes. You then release the Control or Alt key. In previous releases, you could see the control key keyboard shortcuts listed next to their corresponding command. Starting in PowerPoint 2007, you will see them listed in the small pop-up windows that appear when you hold your mouse pointer over any command function shown in the ribbon. Note that not every command function has a corresponding control key keyboard shortcut. In these cases, you can use the Alt key to enable the new key badge system in PowerPoint. You can then use the key badge system to enter a sequence of keystrokes. This replaces the older Alt keyboard shortcuts. Let's look at how you can use the new key badge system in PowerPoint. First, press the Alt key on your keyboard to display a set of key badges next to the various objects in the ribbon and in the quick access toolbar. You then press the key on your keyboard that corresponds to the command function that you wish to show. For example, I will now press the Alt key and then the P key to open the pictures in the Insert tab. This will allow me to insert a picture into the PowerPoint presentation. You continue pressing the corresponding key badges until you press the key badge for the command function that you want to execute. If you happen upon a drop-down menu as you are entering your key badges or your key badge work simply opens up a dialog box, don't worry. You can execute a command shown in the dialog box or in a drop-down by looking to see if the command function that you want to execute has an underlined letter in its name. If it does, you simply press the key on your keyboard that corresponds to the underlined letter. That is the same thing as pressing a corresponding keyboard key when you see a key badge. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.